Hello and welcome to this quick Financial Force Accounting Billing Central demonstration. In this demonstration, I'm going to create a billing contract, show how they relate to billing schedules and billing documents, and then terminate that billing contract. So to enter Billing Central, we have to go into the app launcher and enter the Billing Central app. This creates several different tabs up at the top, which are used for Billing Central. To create a new billing contract, you can create them from either a plan or just a billing contract. You enter the tab. This takes you to a list view of all of your current billing contracts. You can click new. You can enter the contract name, account, company, start date, and end date. You can also have the first bill date, which is the date in which you will create your first billing document. The contract should be created in draft status. The currency can be whatever currency you wish. I'm going to make this GBP. You can also add revenue recognition fields, such as recognize to date and the template which you want to use. Once we save that, that'll create the header of the billing contract we can now create lines. Well, first this takes us to uh, an overview of the billing contract where we have highlight fields up at the top. We have overall fields and we have different tabs showing different things, such as a detail tab, the billing contract line items, the billing schedules and documents that are related to it and related contracts as, long as, as well as opportunities and other related records. So now to add billing contract line items, go to the billing contract line items tab and click add. We now must use a price book. We have different price books for different currencies. And because we chose GBP when we created this contract, we will use the UK price book. You are now taken to a list of all of your products who are recorded in the GBP price book. For instance, we're going to choose accounting engine annual. Next, this takes you to um, a field where you add details around the billing contract line. So the product here is accounting engine annual. The billing type is recurring fixed. You can change the recurring type, the billing type to be recurring fixed, recurring variable, or one-off. If it's recurring fixed, the amount is fixed throughout every billing schedule. Recurring variable, the amount may vary depending on usage records and one-off will bill only one-off when the first bill date is reached. Going forward, you can see the unit price is brought through from the Salesforce product. We're choosing one quantity. And here we can choose the charge term and the bill term. So because this is annual, we can select annual. You can change these soft dates to be whatever you want. For instance, you can choose monthly and even weekly. You can also add other fields such as the revenue recognition template if you wish to recognize revenue from billing contract line items. You can also put these line items on hold. So when you're happy with it, we can save the contract line item to the contract. And when the contract is finalized, we can then activate the contract. <clears throat> this puts the contract in force. Therefore, you cannot add or take away any billing contract line items. After this, we will need to generate some billing schedules. So Billing Central knows when to create billing documents and how much to create them by. We go up here into the right-hand side and click Generate Billing Schedules. We generate them from today to the end of the contract. 
This will run a job in the background. It may take a few seconds to complete. So I'll just quickly refresh the page. Here we see there's one billing schedule because we selected annual when we changed the charge term and the billing term. Therefore, we're only charging annually. That's for this one contract line item. And it's now related to this billing document line item. As you see, when we've created the billing schedules, it has also created the first billing document that you will bill with this contract. If we enter the billing document, we can see that the document status is in draft. It has line items and also details, such as document date, document due date, and totals. When you're, when you're happy with it, you can complete this billing document and then you can run the background posting scheduler to post it and you can send it off to your client. If your client wishes to terminate the contract, you can go to the contract record within your Salesforce environment and you can click the end contract button. We will end the contract for tomorrow's date. And you can just end the contract there. This will create a change request, which will then need to be applied to the billing contract. This can be done by clicking apply to contract. And that's a very simple overview as to how Billing Central works in Financial Force Accounting. Thank you for watching.